Last time I thought I found the most classic 22 mobile games, yet somehow I've received over a hundred more games that people thought deserved a spot. There are so many requests for games to cover that I will undoubtedly miss a bunch that you love this time as well. I'm always willing to make a follow-up to this video as long as you are also interested. With that in mind, the list for today will include 2048, Hungry Shark Evolution, Sky Burger, Shadow Fight 2, Trivia Crack, Rolling Sky, Office Jerk, Running Fred, Smash Hit, Tiny Wings, Vector, Dragon Veil, Beat the Boss, Bejeweled, Mega Jump, Bike Race, Pocket God, World of Goo, Battle Cats, Ninja Fishing, Tiny Tower, and Balloons TD5. A big difference from the last list is that I'd played almost all of those religiously as a kid. Most of these I've heard of but never really played, so it'll be fun to check out some of these games that you all have loved for over a decade now. Without further ado, let's find out which of these classics are great, and which ones make me want to self-constipate. Uh -huh. <sighs> Imagine if I got sponsored by a classic mobile game or something. That would be crazy. Legendary, even. Pray to Shadow Legends! Is, um, is the sponsor of today's video. Raid is absolutely a classic mobile game, yet somehow it's only turning four years old. Can you believe that? If you guys forgot to get Raid a birthday present, then maybe downloading the game with my QR code or link in the description would make up for your disrespect. To celebrate Raid's birthday, I'm throwing a little dinner party for my favorite Raid champions. Totoro Rhymehide is an easy first choice. And what would a dinner party be without my main man Goro Grab? I think Herndig would be good for a little shindig, and... Sigh, who could forget about Venus? I hope someday she will be mine. Now don't forget, we gotta rank this thing. Cool characters aside, there must be some fun events too, right? Well, currently there's an egg hunt going on, but we're not just hunting for normal eggs, we're hunting for DRAGON EGGS! Just download Raid using the links below, copy your player ID, and paste it into egghunt.polarium.com for an exciting AR adventure. Scour the dragon's lair using your phone, and if you find the hidden egg, you'll be in a chance for winning amazing in-game items and even real-life prizes, like legendary raid champions to Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. Already play raid? Visit egghunt.polarium.com for a special promo code for an in-game gift. Wow, raid sounds so awesome it surpasses the classic mobile games tier list. I'm happy to say that Raid Shadow Legends is S tier on the Raid Shadow Legends tier list! What an honor. If you've never played Raid, then what are you doing? Use the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to get insane bonuses like an epic champion, Knight Errant, and other items like energy refills, skill tomes, or XP boosters. It's also a great way to support my channel, so if you want to see me rank more mobile games, then please check the game out today. If we can hit 200 installs, the Raid Shadow Legends Overlords will be very pleased, and maybe I can get you guys some more sweet gifts for the game in the future. And yeah, maybe I was bribed, but you can't deny the fact that Raid Shadow Legends is S tier on the Raid Shadow Legends tier list. Like, actually, what else would even be on there? Okay, I love you, Venus, but I got some games to rank, so I'll talk to you later, babe. She's so into me. 2048 is the epitome of games you play while bored in your class. The teacher can't get mad at me. This is math! In terms of being a classic mobile game, I'm a little unsure about it. I always played it on cool math games, not my iPod. I will say there's a challenge mode on here that actually makes me want to play it a bit more. But for just the core game, it's fun, but not anything too groundbreaking. So I'm saying C tier. I cannot believe I forgot about Hungry Shark Evolution on my first list. I love it so much I bought Hungry Shark World for my Switch. What could be more enjoyable than swimming around as a shark eating everything in your sight? Unlocking bigger sharks is the coolest feeling in the world and so much crazy stuff can happen that you're always on your toes. Like check out this guy riding on a great white. I love this. I played this game a ton as a kid and I still enjoy it now. S tier. Skyburger is another game I loved as a kid, for some reason. There really isn't anything to this one, but it is quite satisfying to build a crazy tall tower. The stack just wiggles all around as you collect your ingredients, absolutely amazing. Sadly the game isn't available to download anymore, so we can all enjoy the super poor quality video of this guy playing it like a pro. Also, for copyright reasons you can't hear this, but the background music is literally pumped up kicks. <laughs> just imagine. All the other kids with the pumped up kick to this absolutely jaw-dropping gameplay. For that alone, I'm bumping Skyburger up to B tier. So I've never played Shadow Fight 2, but oh boy did people beg for this one last time. Y'all remember what happened to Fun Run, right? You better hope this thing is good. First impressions are all about this intro, which is genuinely pretty epic. Oh, I uh, I need to update it. 
Well, that was fun. Classic DT. Okay, okay. I'm joking. Jeez. So, now that I've actually played it... Oh my god, this game is amazing. Instantly addicted. I was so blown away by the animations, background illustrations, and cool personality the game had. Not to mention the different weapons and combos you can get. I can't lie, I was basically just spamming buttons the whole time, but here and there I'd pull something off that was kinda cool. I don't even want to move on to the next one, I just want to keep progressing here. Which basically means that this has got to be an S tier. You guys were so right. Trivia Crack is kind of a silly one to come up after Shadow Fight 2. It isn't cool or fast paced or anything, but it does a good job at what it wants to do. I genuinely remember playing against people in my class daily that weren't even really my friends. That was so strange. But Trivia Crack just had that power over people, and it felt good to know more trivia than your friends. This game certainly can be weird sometimes, like look at this stupid dog. How the freak was I supposed to know this thing is called a brindled? It literally looks like a stretch PNG but freaking dog. Also there's pets now I guess? I'm not playing this game ever again, so Pickle Rick is definitely gonna die dude. Honestly, playing this again was a pretty unpleasant experience. It's kind of fun, yet somehow not at all. D tier. Another one that was highly requested is Rolling Sky. The simplest explanation is it's a 3D geometry dash, except you don't even have to jump. This is the kind of game you can play with just one hand. Just think of the possibilities of what the other hand could be doing. You could be playing more Rolling Sky! Or, you know, a good game. It's not bad, I definitely get hooked to beat the levels, but I'd rather just watch someone else do it next to a Family Guy clip of me being completely honest with you. It's a lifestyle, Brian. So you wouldn't know that because you're white as a ghost. You're haunting this house with your whiteness, Brian. Hey, wake me up in 15, will you, babe? Fine. Key Lago, Montego. And it doesn't hold a candle to Geometry Dash. C tier. Honestly, no words need to be said to make an argument for Office Jerk. Just check this out. I've been doing this for an hour. I have to stop. That's an S. Oh my god, it is amazing. Again, I cannot believe I forgot about Running Fred. I loved this game very dearly as a kid. It's an auto runner where you run away from the Grim Reaper and try to finish levels. It's actually just one of the best and most challenging platformers ever created. Now, to be fair, some of the challenge definitely stems from the motion controls, but it's still pretty awesome. I remember being very scared to see the Grim Reaper catch up to me, and it's crazy to see that the game has not changed visually at all. Coincidentally, the game has not been updated in years, but their Facebook page just posted about a new level. So now's the perfect time to try it out. Sadly, it was a little underwhelming, but still a really cool game that brings back a lot of memories. I'm saying A tier. I ended up playing this one for way too long. Smash Hit is all about breaking glass without running out of balls. Now I've been fighting my whole life to not run out of balls, and I'm already down to my last two, so this really hit close to home. At first I thought, meh, it's cool but there's not much to it. But I couldn't turn it off, I just wanted to keep playing. There's a constant stream of new mechanics and challenges to face, but when the screen started turning I knew there was something special here. Breaking glass is just fun, so yeah, this is an easy A tier. Not S, but really good. Man, everyone knows Tiny Wings. The game all about getting the perfect angle on the slope so you can shoot under the sky like a god. I ended up getting more addicted to just getting good jumps for the video's sake more than for my own enjoyment. It's fun, mindless gameplay, but it definitely gets old quick. I gotta say though, I have no clue if the original game had music, but the Apple Arcade's version soundtrack is incredible. I'd love to use it as background music if I can. Anyways, it's, it's a B tier. Vector is the second silhouette based game that was highly requested for this video. Now we could insert Dr. Doof again, but this is actually made by the same developer, so it makes sense. I really love parkour games, and jumping from building to building in this game is pretty awesome. I love narrowly avoiding the guy chasing me and shattering through the glass as I make an epic jump. However, your character is very heavy, and I find myself getting pretty annoyed with the responsiveness of my actions. I also hate when the game wants you to do something that would be slower. Like why? I just want to feel awesome and fast! So though it can be really fun, I'm annoyed enough to keep it in A tier. First impressions of Dragon Veil? You're really gonna have to convince me on the gameplay. This is actually for toddlers, what the freak? 
The presentation of everything is so baby friendly that I can't take it seriously. Not to mention how limited I am in naming my dragons. I'd imagine if you played this your whole life, you'd have an amazing park with tons of cool dragons. In my eyes, this is just a downgrade from my singing monsters. Except that game has the incentive of breeding monsters to actually do something. I'm really sorry, but this sucks. Hard. D tier. Now this one's for grown-ups. Okay, well actually, I can only imagine babies playing this one too. Like, what is this? What fun are we having here? I turtled for like a single second and then immediately was bored and frustrated. Also, what is this lady doing on the side of my screen? Get out of there! If you want to play a game about beating up a coworker, play Office Jerk. In fact, let's play some more of that. I didn't play it enough on my first time around. <laughs> what a great game. Oh, sorry, just to be clear, Office Jerk is a great game. Beat the Boss is an easy D tier. You guys want to hear a fun story about Bejeweled? So I was going on a first date with a girl, and the original plan was to go to BF Chang's. But I said, you know what? Hop in my hoopty. We're taking a little road trip. I drove her to a jewelry store. I point at a wedding ring and say, what do you think of this one? And if she even remotely showed hesitation, we stopped looking at it. We're not looking at that one anymore. And she said something like, that is absolutely divine. I would look at the cashier and say, I'd like one wedding ring, good sir. Or, uh, yeah, I'll have what she's having. And I proposed on the spot. Oh, and uh, we, we, uh, we played Bejeweled at one point. What does this have to do with Bejeweled again? Oh yeah, I proposed by saying, would you be ever so jeweled to take this hand in marriage? Classic. Anyways, that story is a thousand times more interesting and a thousand times more real than Bejeweled. This game created the match three cesspool of games we see nowadays, and for that reason alone, it gets a... Well, it gets a B. I don't actually have very strong opinions about it, frankly. Sadly, Mega Jump is no longer available to download, but I love this little red guy so much as a kid, I had to include it. I think Mega Run is probably the better game, however, and I have a bunch of fond memories of that one. Mega Jump feels like a worse Doodle Jump, which is really sad. I'm sorry, Mega Jump, but you have to go in C tier. You have to. I don't want you to. You just do. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Bike Race is probably one of the few games that are enhanced by motion controls. I think it's really fun to control your bike that way. And while the single player is cool, what I remember this game for is definitely competing against my friends. It was a lot of fun getting the best score possible and destroying your friend's time. However, this game did not age too well. Don't mind my time and battery on the left side of the screen. Plus, Trials is the definitive bike racing game. So this little guy goes in B. Thanks for making my thumbnail look epic though. Alright, I promised last time we would go over Pocket God today. I've never seen this one before, so it's pretty weird to see. It's basically a way better version of Beat the Boss, where you have full control of these characters, and when you do stuff, stuff actually happens. There are tons of minigames and achievements and levels to complete, even some boss fights. The style is pretty charming and definitely has that old mobile game feel. There's just so much you can do in this game, you could never do it all. It just makes me sad I never played it as a kid. You all love it, so I'm happy to put it in S. World of Goo is just so good. Combining a physics, combining a physics-based, combining a physics-based bridge building, oh my god, combining a physics-based bridge building game with, combining a physics-based bridge building game with funny little, combining a physics-based bridge building game, combining a physics-based, combining a physics-based bridge building game with funny little goo balls is really cool. Uh, ghoul? Oh, sorry, ghoul. Plus, the more you play, the more epic it gets. Some of those final levels in the game are more intense than the majority of the games on this list. I love snot bombs, I love goo balls, and I love giving out easy S tiers. Character design peaked when the Battle Cats was released. Like you can't beat this. Look at this insane intro, it goes on for like 10 minutes by the way. Moving to gameplay, it's us Battle Cats versus the Battle Dogs? Either way, take that Korea! The most fun part is getting new cats and upgrading them, and even the idea of becoming stronger than your enemies is really fun. You know what, why am I even arguing when I could just play you this cat god clip? Yep, that's another S tier. I remember loving ninja fishing as a kid, so I was pretty disappointed by it today. Inherently there isn't anything wrong with it, the idea is you just catch as many fish as you can and then slice them up like in Fruit Ninja. It just has a sort of lifelessness to it and so many upgrades. I remember seeing Dinosaur Island and thinking, wow, that would be so cool. 
and then seeing it cost 90,000 coins. So yeah, never got to Dinosaur Island. It's a fine game, but I can't put it higher than B tier. I personally only ever played Tiny Death Star, so let's see what I was missing from the original. Alright, apparently this is me, and I say, I've sold all my Bitcoin to invest in real estate. That certainly doesn't sound like me, but it clearly it's me. I look like that. It's hard to do this game justice by only playing it for a few minutes, because this game requires you to wait for things to finish building and for you to earn a bunch of cash. If you're a big idol fan, this is probably up your alley. I also really love the idea of finding your bitizens their dream jobs and collecting new characters to live with you. I also got to adopt the Snow Leopard, so that's freaking sweet. But this game requires a lot of attention and constant upkeep, and that just stresses me out. It's definitely one of the better idol games out there though, and I love the art style. I will say, A tier. I purposely saved Balloons TD5 for last. I made the quote unquote bold claim last time that PVZ was the best tower defense game ever made. Now I was obviously not wrong about that statement, but I suppose it's only fair that we take a look at some competitors. I've always had a bias against these games, I think I just found them tedious and not that exciting. Like it's just monkeys popping balloons, big whoop. I still really don't get the appeal. The monkeys don't have cool designs and there aren't enemies, it's just balloons. I like the personality of PVC so much that it doesn't have to have good gameplay, even though it does. Now, I must compliment balloons too. I really love that there's a path to follow and you can place your units wherever you think will be best. There's also tons of different monkeys and each have unique skills, making it fun to do better and upgrade each one. Like maybe this boomerang monkey will be best in the corner. You get to decide. Still, I find this game to just be kinda meh. I don't get excited about it whatsoever. So I'll make a deal with you guys. It can't be S, that title is for Plants vs Zombies. But I'll take all of your demands for this game as your way of saying this deserves an A tier. What a nice compromise. Well, I wrote, make epic conclusion after playing these, so I guess I've got to actually do that now. Last time I discussed how cool it was to relive some of those memories of my favorite classic mobile games, but this time I made a bunch of new memories. I played a ton of games that people have always loved that I didn't even know existed. And despite that, I found some instant classics like Shadow Fight 2, Vector, and Pocket God. Who knew silhouettes were the peak form of gaming? So the lesson this time around is, even if you didn't grow up with an old game, that doesn't mean you can't still love it. But be warned, you might come across some dragon veils and beat the bosses. Ugh. And while I still haven't gotten to everything, in due time I can try some more classics like the Holy Bible app. I have a feeling that one could rival Balloons and PVC for the best tower defense game. Let's make sure to add this list to the games we played last time as well. If you want to see me rank those in heaven already, I'd encourage you to click the card in the top right to check it out. I'm kind of trying to grow a Discord channel right now. I have no clue what I'm doing, but it's a great way to talk about classic mobile games you love with others in the community. I really appreciate if you join and start a conversation over there. I've got the link in the description of this video, so go check it out. I also want to make sure to thank my only member at the time of recording this, and that is Groth One Finger. All members of my channel will get shoutouts as well as exclusive badges and emojis like the Obama bird. If you have other ideas for emojis, let me know. This is the perfect way to directly support me and my channel, and help make my YouTube channel a potential job in the future. For our next endeavor in a classic mobile game series, I've got something a little different in mind. We've seen all of these amazing titles, but were they one-hit wonders? Or were their sequels a worthy follow-up? I'm talking Angry Birds 2, Cut the Rope 2, Hungry Shark World, Balloons TD6, stuff like that. If you have any sequels you want to see, let me know. I can't wait to make this video, it's going to be super fun. Anyways, what the freak are you still here for? Go watch something else like that Jake Miller guy. I hear he's really good at making like wanking videos or something? That sounds pretty awesome. I think I'm going to watch that right now. Weeeeeee! Oof! I'd like one wedding ring- I'd like one wedding- Oh my god. I'd like one wedding ring- You can't say it. I'm the other kids with the pumped up kicks. I'm the other kid with the pumped up kicks. You're the kid with the not- with the- What is the opposite of- <laughs> I'm the other kid with the pumped up kicks. I'm the other kid with the pumped up kicks. Who are you? You're the kid with the freaking deflated flicks. That's what you are. I don't know about cigarette. Yeah, she's coming for you. Yeah, she's coming for you. Yeah, all the other kids with the pumped up kicks. <laughs>